Hi, this is Dr. Gennady Kolodenker. I'll be going over how to fix the anterior tibial tendon rupture utilizing a minimal invasive type of technique. Incision placement is going to be over the insertion of the anterior tibial tendon around the midfoot uh, and proximally at the ankle. At the ankle, the incision is deepened down. You'll encounter the red naculum. Be aware of the neurovascular bundle in the area. Depending on how soon you're doing this after the injury, the tendon will typically be adhered. Here you start seeing it. Uh, it'll take a little bit of work to get it out, uh, but usually you can get an instrument underneath it, and then it will just pull out proximally. By the way, if you're looking to get a consult in Orange County, we're located uh, in the center of Orange County, our office number 949-651-1202. Feel free to contact us at any point. Like our page, visit our Facebook page, website ocpodiatry.com. So here you see the tendon coming out. After the tendon comes out, uh, you're going to utilize a suture in order to pass it through. Um, that incision line distally. I typically use a number two fiber wire for these repairs and you can use any type of technique that you like. I'll typically use modified crack out. The advantage of using this technique, the minimally invasive technique, it allows for quicker healing, faster recovery, less pain, uh, less scarring, easier time for the tendon to glide. So here you see the tendon being passed through that incision site. Make sure to keep it within its sheath. That way it minimizes adhesions of the tendon, allows for better gliding. Once it's passed, uh, you will need to anchor it distally or dorsal cuneiform. Here you're seeing the anchor go in. It's verified under fluoroscopy. And it also has a number two fiber wire attached to it. The two are now put together. Make sure when you are tying the ends that the ankle is going to be kept in more of a dorsiflex position. Remember, the knots are the weakest part of this whole structure. There are other techniques with less knots that can be utilized. Uh, some newer technologies with uh, sutures that can be anchored directly into the bone without even having knots. Uh, so those are good options too. If there is a piece uh, of insertional tendon left, if there is any sort of nub, I recommend stitching that into the whole process. Uh, a surgical tech is typically really helpful in this scenario to hold your knots down to make sure that they stay nice and tight. Remember, hold that ankle dorsiflex. I typically use my belly and splint it in dorsiflex position. Otherwise, you risk the chance of rupturing the entire repair. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like our page. Visit ocpodiatry.com for a lot more information and educational videos.